Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play City Skylines. Welcome back to my Mods for Beginners series. Today we are going to be talking about the Mod Intersection Marking Tool. This is a really great one for changing the look of your intersections and making them feel a little bit more realistic. Uh, a couple things you need to know about it. You first, you must also have the mod Harmony 2.0. Um, that does some background stuff that makes the mod work. And if you don't have it, then intersection marking tool will not work. Uh, then also, this mod does not change the actual uh, way that the lanes in your intersection work. It is only for the look of things. But you also need to know that it does not count towards game limits on props and etc. Uh, so that means that you can use it as much as you want and it will not impact the game limits. It does have a very minimal impact on performance, uh, like anything that changes the look of the graphics. It, if you use it a whole bunch, it might add up a little bit and make your frame rate drop a tiny bit, but I feel pretty confident that this one will not have a major impact on your game. Uh, how to open it? Let's go ahead and jump in here and find an intersection first of all. And for some reason, mine isn't working. There should be a button down here that will open it up for you. But uh, in the absence of that, and I'm not really sure why that is not working. I tried looking into it, but I couldn't figure out what the problem was. Probably some conflict that I have. But there is a hotkey. You can hit Control L and it will open up. Or you can uh, change the hotkey, and I've changed it to uh, caps lock, actually. But what you want to do is you want to turn it on. So like right now it is on, and I can click on the intersection, and then you can make some changes. So we are going to move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. And what you want to do, we'll pause the game real quick. You want to connect the different spots like that, and it will create a line, and then you can change it. There are different types of markings that you can do. The different lines that you can do are solid. Which you can see then is a solid line, aptly named, a dashed, double solid, double dashed, solid and dashed, or shark teeth. So those are different things that you can do. Oh, auto save, coffee time. I'm going to have mine be solid. You can also change the color. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Coming up like that. Yeah, just a tiny bit brighter. Although, no, let's keep it at the default. Okay. And you can change the width and stuff like that. The only problem I have right now is it kind of matches the, the track, but I think it'll be fine. So let's get some lines in place here. Okay, then you can also do other things like, uh, let's do a filler. You want to hold Alt to start creating a filler and we're going to fill to here and then here and we're just going to like create a square around what we want to fill. And then we're going to change the uh, filler that we have. You can do stripes, grid, solid, or chevron. I'm going to do stripes, but I want them to be pretty narrow. Yeah, so we want to just look out for the tram track, and I'm going to make them a yellow. Then we're going to do another one here. And what we're actually going to do is we are going to save as a temp, or what we'll do is we'll copy this, come over here and we will paste it. So now it has copied the same format there. Then we're going to do the same thing for the other tram traps here. Okay. 
Now I've decided that I made a mistake and I don't like the way this looks. So we're going to come up here and we are going to uh, remove this by clicking delete and that will delete that one filler. We're going to do it again. Now you can see that I, because of the lines that I've been making, have been creating uh, little uh, changes here. We can come in and I just want to fill that area now with the stripes. So now we won't have it double up in the other spots. Okay, so now the tram traps are all filled there. And we're going to come in here and do a few other things here. So this one can only turn. Okay, so I've lost track of everything that I need here. Like this is such a complicated intersection that I don't remember where all the lanes go, especially because it's been so long since I made it for my Ludington series here. But I am pretty confident that like that's right. So you can see what can happen here. And then you can come in and you can also create uh, crosswalks. So like say we want to create one here, we hold shift, and the thing is that there's already crosswalks on the map. So we're going to do that already. So we're not going to bother with crosswalks, but know that you can change the way things are. You could do like a zebra. You could do a solid one. If you had another mod, you could create or you could remove the existing ones and then just go with what you want to create on your own with the intersection marking tool. Then also we have, we can do stop lines, I believe. Yeah, if we want to create a stop line like this, we can do different styles as well, which are pretty much the same that you have for regular lines. And this isn't a very good spot for a stop line. So let's add them over here. We're going to stop before. Ah, now here, there is no crosswalk. So let's see if we can add a crosswalk here. You do a ladder there. So yeah, there's different things you can do that. Do with that. Now let's go check out another node or another spot or way that you could use this. It would be really useful on highways. So like you can come in here and you can just finish up where you have these nodes in here. And you can get these lane lines in. Or you could come in and you could put in filler So that doesn't quite fit in there. So I think like that can extend the way your highways go. So that is about it. Oh, you could come in like here and you could get a shift. Uh, that's a crosswalk. We want just a line, a stop line right in there. So then your vehicle is no to stop there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, all the different things you can do here. You can also create templates. Let's go ahead and take a look. So like if you come in here, templates, you can do different styles here. So like if we're over in here at this one and we want to save a template, we can click from here to here. we can go in here and save as template. And then under templates, we have different template styles here. And it's pretty simple.
basic idea. But anyway, that is it. So that is the intersection marking tool. I hope you found this useful in your quest to become better at using mods and learn the different mods that you can use. I hope you uh, keep watching my Mods for Beginners series and hit subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.